In this episode, supersets, what are they and how can you use them to get all the results you could ever imagine? The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 247 of The Daily Mother Swole, you fucking animals. Oh, <laughs> I flex, you flex, we all flex, our biceps. That's what we do on The Daily Swole. I come on here, I yell, I have a lot of caffeine, and we all flex awkwardly through technology that no one can see, but it makes me happy. It makes me happy to know, and it warms my heart, my soul, that I know you're flexing. Even though you're not here and I can't see you, I know you're flexing with, I know you're flexing with me, and you really have to. I would love to have, like, everyone, like, you know, big brother, like, little cameras in the corner where I could see everyone flexing at the same time. If you could send me a video of you watching the Daily Swole flexing while I do that, I'll hook you up with something. That'd be a, that'd be a great video. I would love to see that. I would love to do a montage of everyone flexing while I do that and getting video of that. Oh, that'll take some skill, but if you have that footage, you can get that footage, send it to me and I'll hook you up. Episode 247, how to superset and how supersets will get you all the gains. It is Sunday fun day. It is 247. And thank you everyone for joining me live on Facebook every day at 12 noon Eastern time at Swolnormous, watching on YouTube at Swolnormous, of course. And guess what? You can listen to your freaking ear holes on SoundCloud and iTunes, get the podcast every single episode, also at Swolnormous on all media, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook Premium, my premium members, what up? What up to my premium peeps and my exclusive membership group? You can check out my website, swolormous.com, if you want to sign up for premium to get access, program design, nutritional guidance, all the shit that we're doing in premium. I am amped because today I am doing a lot of work. I'm doing a lot of work today uh, to get my secret project launched. So this is very exciting, and finally it is happening and all these night if you're watching me on snapchat you see all these late hours and all this stuff i kind of been like you know leaking that out there so stay tuned i know i keep saying stay tuned but stay tuned trust me but now is not that time now is superset time let's talk about what supersets are a little bit of a misnomer let's talk about what they are and how you could use them to your advantage so supersets we generally refer to as two exercises they do back to back. In reality, a superset technically is two exercises for the same body part back to back, and different body parts or opposing body parts are actually called compound sets. But it's a little bit of a misnomer. Uh, some people might have a different opinion or a different you know experience. It's like that with fitness with everything. People hear different things, different exercises, or the same exercise are called different things in different areas of the country and the world. It doesn't really matter as long as you know what you're doing and why you're doing it. So let's talk about doing two exercises back to back. Let's really talk about what it is rather than what it's called. So just using terms that you might be familiar with, we'll talk about supersets, compound sets, in that sense, uh, triple sets, giant sets. Let's talk a little bit about doing multiple exercises back to back. First off, the classic is doing biceps and triceps or chest and back. Those are classics. Arnold used to do chest and back. I love doing chest and back. I love doing bis and tries on the same day. Doing muscles that are on opposing parts of the joint, like a flexion and an extension, is a great way to do a couple things. Let's talk about why it's good, why you might want to do it or try it. First off, it's fantastic to save time. Let's get that out of the way. You're doing a bicep exercise. Your triceps are not working. They're stabilizing. They're stretching, but they're not providing force other than a stabilization effect. So you can go biceps and then triceps or chest and then back. You're going to be more exhausted. You're going to have to drop the weight. But at the same time, you're getting a lot more volume, you're getting a lot more done in a shorter period of time. So supersets are amazing, especially if you have limited time in the gym. Let's say you're running late and you only have half an hour to work out. Then don't rest. 
But if you just do only chest that day, you have to cut down your rest period so much, you're gonna have to drop the weight so much, it's not gonna be the same effectiveness potentially uh, based on your goal if you're trying to build muscle and lose body fat. So what you can do is do chest and back and do chest and then back and then chest and then back and go back and forth and save a lot of time and get more done in a shorter period of time. Supersets, you know, exercise back to back are great to build mass. They're great to, when you're building mass, it all comes down to a lot with the calories, how many calories you're consuming. It also is great just to build muscle. It doesn't have to be massive muscle. We're talking about just building muscle. And that's going to help you burn fat. So if you're looking to lose weight and shred up and become leaner, it's a great way to do that as well. It also gives you an awesome pump. You get an awesome fullness to the muscle because you're flushing blood to the same area. If you're doing chest and back, you're saturating the muscle in the upper torso a lot more than if you're doing chest and thighs, for example, or you're doing just chest alone or just back alone. You're doing more muscle groups that are larger in a constricted area. So you're doing biceps and triceps. You're flushing blood to all the muscle in the upper arm, not just the front, not just localized in the bicep area. So you're getting more of a sympathetic response to that area. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And people like that. People love the pump. As Arnold famously said, yeah, I love the pump. It's fantastic. I love it. And if you want to be like Arnold, then get a sick pump. And most people lift weights and get that feeling, that transient hypertrophy when the muscles are ripping at the seams and they just feel full with blood. And it's a great feeling. We we all want to have that feeling all the time. Your body doesn't maintain that all the time. That's why people that take steroids look like they're freaking ripped and pumped all the time because that's what that does. Uh, It's That's a great way to tell if someone's using or not. They look pumped in like they just worked out when they didn't. But that transient hypertrophy, when you flush the body full of blood, when you flush the muscles, that's even amplified when you do things like supersets. Uh, You can increase your volume. If you're trying to build mass and build muscle, you want to increase the amount of sets and amount of reps you're doing overall. You don't want to do 30 reps per set, but you want to do more of the heavier reps. And if you do a set of six or eight reps, you might need to do three, four, five, or six sets for an exercise to get the volume that you're looking for for hypertrophy for muscle growth, for stimulation to force the muscle to increase cross-sectional area, to get that muscle, that straw, or that tubule of the muscle to get thicker and wider. The increased volume is possible with supersets because you're doing more in a shorter period of time. If you have an hour and you have an hour to work out, you can do more in that hour, that's more volume, that's more potential for getting more results. And the great thing about doing push-pull, doing biceps, triceps, chest, and back is that one muscle is actually getting a little bit of reprieve while the other one's working so you can get that volume and still get your rest periods in between. It's a great way to compact your workouts if you can only make it to the gym three days a week, if you have limited time uh, to work out, if you only have half an hour a day rather than an hour a day, you're able to manipulate what you can get done and get more done in a shorter period of time. And that's always great. If you can be more efficient with your time, that's what you want to do. You want to get more done in less time, and that's just called efficiency. You decrease your rest periods, it's great for muscular endurance. You're hitting more muscle fibers when you're doing supersets. You're getting more into those type 1, those slow twitch fibers. I'm always talking about hypertrophy. We're getting a lot of type 1 slow twitch and stabilizer work when you're doing corrective exercise, when you're doing your yoga. But when you're doing these types of training, you are actually tapping more into those endurance muscle fibers, those muscle fibers that deal with stabilizing the joints, those muscle fibers that deal with lower force production and more endurance. You're getting more deeper into different layers of tissue. So there's a lot great potential for being very sore after doing supersets, especially if you're not used to it. It's a great way to shock the muscle. Let's say you don't normally like to do supersets. You feel better doing standard training or standard bodybuilding split. That's fine. But it depends on your goal and it depends on if you need to shake things up. It's a great way to do a superset for one pairing of exercises. It doesn't mean every workout and every set and everything you do the entire week has to be supersets. It's a great way to take a similar workout or take a, the same order of exercise, the same type of exercise, the same body parts on the same day, so to speak, and change it a little bit. You don't always have to do new exercises. You don't always have to change what you do on different days. But on chest day, you can do a chest press superset with a push-up. You can do that. Maybe you used to do a chest press and then rest a minute and then do chest press again and then rest a minute. 
and then chest press again, and then rest a minute. And then you would do a set of push-ups, rest a minute. And then a set of push-ups, rest a minute. Why not throw it together? Why not do chest press, push-ups, rest? Chest press, push-ups, rest. It's different. The same exercise, but you can see how subtle change. That's a very different workout. It's a very different workout with the same exercises. And this is where that variation, mixing things up, comes into play. I always talk about mixing things up too much goes against adaptation and can affect the ability of your body to adapt. This is how you can mix things up a lot. Your body doesn't need that much change to get shocked. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people think in order to shock the body, you have to do such things night and day. Not true. Not true. If you're very consistent with your eating, if you're very consistent with your training, subtle changes will make a huge difference. Subtle changes are changes. And that's enough to shock the body. You don't have to be crippled, sore, going to the hospital with inflammation to be getting results from your training. You don't have to do a completely, wow, instead of doing heavy bench press like I could do normally on this day, I did a triathlon instead. It doesn't need to be that extreme. And you're not going to adapt properly. You're going to get hurt if you do things in that extreme. You're not going to get better at everything. You're going to be less good and less efficient at everything, and you're going to get hurt because your body is going to be overloaded in ways that it hasn't adapted to. That's the problem with those types of group exercise classes. That's the problem with those random CrossFit splits that make no fucking sense. You're doing random shit to extremes and people get hurt. You need to give yourself subtle adaptations and subtle changes in order to adapt and develop and grow progressively. Plus, when you do things subtly, you know what works and know what doesn't. You can back off if something's not working. If something doesn't feel right, you can catch it in time. This is all about life. This is not about a sprint or a marathon. This is about life. This is about making changes and keeping yourself healthy and fit for life, forever. This is not a short period. It's not for a month. It's not for three months. It's not for six months. This is the beginning. You have to start with the period. You have to start with a period, let's say, of 90 days and get a program for 90 days and then build from there. But any program that you have, for example, for 90 days is going to be the beginning of the rest of your life. You're not going to stop and be like, I did it. I did it. You're not going to get shit in comparison in 90 days as you will in 180 days or 360 days. You know, that's a great starting point. That's going to get you launched, but you got to continue. You got to be able to perpetuate that. And it has to be a program. It has to be exercise. It has to be workouts. It has to be a mentality that you're going to be able to carry forward. You're going to have to carry that forward. If you have a beginning and end to your program, that does no one any good. You get some results and then you're lost. Like, well, what do I do now? Again, I guess I'll do it again. No, you need a style of training that you can manipulate. You need a style of training that you can adjust. You need a style of training that is going to feed you, that is going to benefit you in the long term, preferably forever, or at least give you the tools necessary to make the proper decisions and to understand your body so you can carry that forward. And subtle changes, things like supersets, things uh, like yoga, flexibility training, those types of programming is super important in a program that will allow you to be healthy, that will allow you to see change, that will allow you to save time, build mass, get good pumps, decrease your rest periods, stimulate more muscle fibers. It's just super important. It's super important. And it's super important to understand these concepts, how to save time, because life comes up. How do you get the same workout in half the time? Well, it's not exactly the same, but it's similar. Well, how can you do that? You need to know these things because all of a sudden, shit, you have a doctor's appointment or your kid got sick and then you can't make it to the gym until later. Now you only have 30 minutes of your workout. Are you going to skip it? Nah, I'm going to skip it. No, get your shit done in 30 minutes. You just might have to tweak a couple variables. But if you know how to do that, not a problem. You feel me? Good. Thank you for joining me for episode 247 of The Daily Mother Swole. That is why you should superset. That's why you should try supersets. That's why you could do supersets today. Don't sit on the couch eating Cheetos. Go try a couple supersets. Go try it. I challenge you. Thank you for joining me for episode 247. Thanks for watching on YouTube and listening in on SoundCloud and iTunes. Thank you for checking me out, my premium members. I'm going to do a broadcast in premium in a couple minutes, my exclusive membership group. If you're interested, click the sign-up button on the top of the Facebook page, and you could also go to www.swolenormous.com to sign up for Swolenormous Premium and 
We're going to talk a little bit more about supersets, giant sets, and triple sets, and how you can use those today, and a little bit more about how to apply that, answer any questions. So check me out, Swan Enormous Premium. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for episode 248 of the Daily Mother Swole. Deuces, los gooses. 